sounded like he heard me just do a soft couple yelps and clucks. So I'm gonna shut up because I know he has some hens with him and see if they just naturally come out down this spine into my food plot or not. Well, we'll wait and see.
Oh man, he was getting ready to skedaddle. He has sat behind me, spitting and drumming. Oh. And uh, he must have realized those decoys weren't moving after he came up here watching for so long. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Viper Ammunition. I'm gonna go get on this bird and then uh, we'll get back with you. Hey, I wanted to show you guys, you know, really what I was looking at here and, and where I was. So here you can see the food plot and you know, it extends all the way through here. But um, first thing I knew was the gobbler gobbled right here behind me. Um, and I say first thing, but this bird was roosted out on the point this morning. I heard him fly down. I knew there was hens. They flew down first. And then he dropped down onto the foiler path. And it sounded like worked the whole front of the foiler path. Went out on the corner back here over the, the blind and just sat gobbling, gobbling, gobbling. And I was just doing some light, subtle calls to him occasionally, letting him know I was up here. And then I finally, I just said, again, I'm shutting up. He's not moving, so I'm not going to call anymore and uh, gave it a good while and then he did a, a gobble on his own and so i just gave him some soft clucks and purrs maybe a yelp and he hammered right back and again i said okay he, he again hears me he's responding i shut up now where he went after that or this could be a completely different bird uh, because i heard birds gobbling everywhere uh, it went around i assume maybe or came up from this other road but anyways i'm standing here in this kind of little shadow area and he was sitting here spitting and drumming and what i was doing was on the zipper of the blind there's small little gaps if you get your eyeball close enough and so i leaned clear up and had the zipper clear up against my eyeball uh looking through and i could see him standing here just spitting and drumming next to the blind and so what he ended up doing was uh standing here in the shade spitting and drumming and he slowly worked his way out and i'm sure he was watching brutus and betsy the whole time and then he came out and i had the camera fixed on brutus because as you can kind of see here where it's open on the opposing side it lets the light kind of shine through to where it's e easier to see through so he worked his way right here along the side of the blind real slow and i just stayed froze i didn't move anything and then he worked his way up here to Brutus. And then as you guys saw on the rest of it, I don't know whether it's again at the end, he just is like, hey, you know what? This thing hasn't been moving or what. He kind of got spooked. And I don't know if the decoy camera picked him up or not. I don't know if he got close enough. I haven't really looked at where I, I physically shot him. I'm walking over here now. I'm not sure. My guess is, is no, he's not on camera. Uh, and of course he went off my main but anyways as you saw he was starting to skedaddle and so i raised up and and hit him as he was kind of taking off and was able to knock him down but beautiful bird but i wanted you guys to hear kind of the situation i was in is you know he just sat right there behind me just spitting and drumming i hope the microphone picked it up but it was it was pretty powerful so pretty cool when I, uh, when I got into the bottom down here, it was 30 degrees. It might have been 29, but it was 30 degrees on my truck. And so I ended up pretty much putting on my deer uh, attire to where, you know, I've got my scent lock base layers, my BE1s, uh, tops and bottoms I had on. I had to peel my coat now that the sun's out. And then I was also wearing externally the, you know, the scent lock uh, blackout series for these blinds because I mean when you look back into these blinds and that blackout wearing solid blackout you just flat out disappear and that's the same way as that bird was walking by I'm sure he could kind of see catty cornered through that mesh through the open windows and I just stayed frozen to make sure that he wasn't seeing me and it worked you know he finally committed and came into the decoys and fortunately I was able to go ahead and pull off that that quick rush shot but beautiful bird down and I don't know whether it was these temperatures again clear skies yesterday uh, was overcast where we were in West Virginia and the birds did not gobble well at all Saturday I'd call it bluebird skies gobbling like crazy here in Ohio 30 degrees this morning bluebird skies and birds were gobbling everywhere so I, I was definitely happy to see that we were on a good gobbling day my thought was is even if that bird didn't get uh, up here for me 
could be another one that pulled in and this easily could have been another bird that came in um, behind me because I was making sure occasionally to throw some calls out where I'd heard some other birds and see if I couldn't pull one in because this one was hinned up and this could easily be him where he broke up but anyways great time appreciate you guys watching make sure you check out my other videos I think you'll enjoy them as well you know on this channel I provide a lot of different things from tips tricks different hunts product reviews just things to try to help everyone out the common Joe just like me and hopefully you guys get some benefit out of it and enjoy it so guys as always thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video